once the differential temperature reading becomes stable, in this case 2.75 degrees Celsius, we can then switch off the firing unit. After doing so, we will switch off the stirrer. Once that is done, we can disassemble the bomb. We will first remove the temperature probe. After that, we will carefully remove the stirrer. Then we will open the combined lid. and unplug the wires. We will use the lifting hook to lift up the combustion bomb. Please note there is still high pressure inside the combustion bomb and we will need to release that. To do so, we will use the gas release valve. Simply screw in the gas release valve and tighten it by hand. No need to use a spanner. Once that is done, slowly rotate the top nozzle to the point where the gas is released. Do not further rotate the nozzle as it may damage the non-release valve. Once all the gas has been released, slowly loosen the bomb ring. Then rotate the nozzle back to its original position and unscrew the gas release valve. Once that is done, completely remove the bomb ring. Once that is done, open the bomb lid and remove the crucible and put it aside. Now we need to carefully collect the leftover nichrome wire from the electrodes. After collecting the wire, keep that aside to be weighed later. Place the bomb lid on the bomb stand, like so. Now examine the crucible for any leftover particles. If a proper combustion has taken place, there should be no leftover particles at all. A little bit of steam would be collected on the walls of the combustion bomb. We will need to clean that to use the bomb again. We will then need to remove the calorimeter vessel and empty out the water.